So uh, this, this first exercise or experiment was uh, to question to question the street light, and uh, and uh, we did this New York City uh, street light competition a couple of years ago. Uh, so we started taking a very close look at well, what is what is a street light? Can you do a better street light? And actually, standard street light that you see out see out there now is pretty good at what it's trying to do, and it's it's just an armature that gets a gets a light source high enough up in the air that it can efficiently light the street. It also is a really great thing to hang all kinds of stuff on. But that's why you get a, a very kind of visually polluted atmosphere once you walk out on the street. So we started to take a look at, well, can you, can you approach this in a little bit different way? Uh, so we came up with an idea of a, of, of a, a lamp that had a form, a, sort of a morphing, uh, curvilinear shape uh, that could incorporate all of these components that are, that are typically uh, within a street light uh, in one sweeping form. And uh, this is the shape. And this is what it would look like day one when you didn't have to change any, any codes or any, any sort of typical strategies for attachment of things like the traffic light, don't walk sign, one way, you know, one way sign, and, and so on, which are typically attached onto this pole. What we found was that, the, that actually because of all of the technology, all of the all the components that are part of these things today are very compact because they use uh, LED, LED fixtures. You could start over time to incorporate them into the tube of the light pole itself. You, could fit the, you can actually fit the traffic light in there a, as well as everything else and that eventually you'd have this kind of a shape and it still would communicate all the things it's supposed to, but it cleans up the whole visual environment of the street. Um, uh, we, so we submitted this design and um, uh, we're sort of second, second place um, uh, here in the city of New York and it's part of the catalog and so on. And uh, here you can see actually the, the light fixture itself. So the, the technology fits inside the tube. This is a flattened, it started out as a cylinder and became a flattened ellipse. So it fits the luminaire at the top. It fits a, a pedestrian oriented luminaire or even uh, LED screens so you could, you know, if you're in a particular neighborhood, if your band is having a is banding, band is having a concert, you could you could through the internet advertise your band on it, so so you're not stapling these signs or taping them to the side of the light pole. Or if you lost your cat, you could advertise that as well. Uh, and the other thing we discovered is because by virtue of the shape, which is flattened to hold the luminaire, you can uh, you can mount uh, these uh, photovoltaic cells on the top. And we have about eight square feet of photovoltaic on top of this light fixture, which is enough to drive all the LED components. Now, in the city of New York, because of the way the, the spec is written, you have to use high-pressure sodium as the light source in, in, in order to meet the spec. And this is an evolving dialogue uh, it, because people are moving towards new light sources, such as metal halide, which renders color better, and LED, which you, know, you, can, you can buy a car with headlights that, are, that work that are LED. So there's, there's no reason why you can't do a street light with LEDs. LEDs are still not quite bright enough, and they're not quite uh, white enough light. But uh, in the near future, you'll be able to use an LED uh, lamp to light the street. And in that case, this street light would be self-sufficient. So you could actually you could erect the street light and have it completely off the grid, uh, and you wouldn't have to wire it in as, as, at all. And we're actually uh, evolving this design uh, for our proposal for the, the 2016 Olympics uh, in Chicago. Uh, 